back out here live to the Opera House here in DeWitt. It's definitely a staple here, and I'm joined by Al Tubbs, a founding member of the DeWitt Theater Company Board. Thank you so much for joining us and for your yeah. patience with my technical glad, difficulties. Glad, <laughs> I'm glad to be here. So, okay. so this theater, this Opera House, such a staple, more than 140 years of history. Yeah. Tell us about it. Well, it was built in 1878, and it was built for originally vaudeville shows and, and so forth. And uh, into the next century, uh, we began to see silent movies. And then in the early 30s, we began to have movies with sound. And so at some point in the 30s, uh, it became the majestic theater because okay. it was more for, for motion pictures. Uh, and it lasted that way for th three or four generations, or wow. three or four decades, I yeah. should say. And, uh, and it fell into disrepair, mm. and it's such disrepair uh, that it wasn't patronized and, and it wasn't working. And so the building came up for sale uh, in 1979, and yeah. it was either going to be a warehouse oh. or it was going to be uh, torn Stays. down. Okay. And so uh, a small group of people here in town marched up and down the street and raised enough money, 25000 to buy it, Yeah. Uh, and uh, we had no... We had found it structurally sound, but we had no architectural plans. Okay. And so the community came together. Uh, we had a lot of help from our local contractors, uh, and we, we, we restored, uh, or we, we renovated, I yeah. should say, and not restored, because restoration was unaffordable to us at right. that time. What do you think that says about the community that they, they saw this landmark and they decided, you know what, we're not going to... We're not going to let this go away. Yeah. I mean, right outside the yeah. theater walls, there's lists of names and businesses right. that contributed. What does that say about DeWitt? Well, the community really came together uh, in the early 80s because here we had this thing and we wanted to uh, renovate it and make it useful to the community because it has been a focal point of the community. It's been a destination spot. Uh, and so the community rallied around it, and we were just going into the farm crisis years. And it really helped pull the community back together uh, during those farm crisis years because our Main Street did a major turnover during those years. But the theater, again, was a draw. Yeah. And so it was something everybody could rally around, and the community did a great job of supporting it. Such a hard time for so many people flocking here, which is yeah. amazing. What are you hoping people feel when they walk into the theater today? Well, I would hope that they would feel the historic significance of the building. It's one of the oldest buildings in town. Uh, I would hope that they feel that it's a comfortable space. Uh, I would hope that they feel that it's, a, that it's still an anchor uh, in our community, because if we didn't have this, people would be always going out of town for, uh, for movies. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the theater is also used for other local events. Yeah. Uh, there's travel log here and uh, tr sometimes church services. And so it's, it's, it's more than just a movie theater. It, it's, a, it's a gathering place in Duet. That's amazing. And one thing that I thought was really unique is sometimes the smaller theaters aren't able to get those new released movies. Yeah. Sometimes it's, you know, you're getting something that's just, it's been out for a while. But you guys don't have that. You're well, Little Mermaid. Right? We have been blessed with having operators here that have connections and are able to get those first run movies. And, and saying that, I have to mention the Pritchard family. Uh, the Pritchard family began to manage the, the, uh, the theater part of it, uh, the movie theater part of it, in 1985. And they were here for 35 years, and so it's just been recently that we have a, a new group of managers, but the Pritchard family did a wonderful job and made it be what what we all dreamed that, that it could be. And so now we have uh, Steve and Michelle Martins uh, that are, are managing, and, uh, and I might mention that the ticket price is still $5. Which is incredible. Yeah. I mean, yeah. inflation has hit everything, yeah. but not the ticket prices yeah. here. So that, and, yeah. and the yeah. concession is also very That's affordable. correct. And so I have to go back and, and look at the board. The board has stuck with it because the DeWitt Theater Company is a 501c3, so it's, it's, it's publicly owned, but it's leased. Uh, to an operator at a very affordable rate okay. such that they can keep the prices at $5. Wow. Well, Al, thank you so much for taking the time. This is just, I mean, it's been such an incredible experience to be able to walk in here, and I yep. hope that you at home are able to take a, take a moment to come out here and watch a movie. Like I said, Little Mermaid's airing yep. right now. So thank you so much. I appreciate well, it. Thank you for asking. Absolutely. Yep.